Hey guys, we're going to do a reading. Look at that crown chakra, spirits involved. I got some new lights there. They're kind of doing their thing. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of, I'm just, this fucking read is going to be the stupidest thing I've ever done. Okay, you know why? Okay, let's do it. So some of y'all, uh, there's way more important things going on in the world. So I was like, you know what, let's liven it up with a fun read. Um, is it fun? Is it stupid? Is it is it ego? Is it machismo? Uh, it, it, let's just, I mean, let's take a break. I mean, we've got serious things, you know, that we've been talking about. But Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg, they're going to cage match. Uh, apparently, they, they're saying that. We're going to first deal with will it happen, but, you know, I guess uh, just hypothetically, maybe the best way to approach this read is, if they do a cage match, who is going to win? So let's talk about it. For anybody who doesn't know, this is an article from The Verge. Mark Zuckerberg is ready to fight Elon Musk in a cage match. Yes. So here we go. Here it is. I'm going to read the article. Here we go. After Elon Musk recently tweeted that he would be up for a cage fight with Zuckerberg, the Meta CEO shot back by posting a screenshot of Mark or Musk's tweet with the caption, send me location. What the fuck is going on? And it says, I've confirmed that Zuckerberg's post on his Instagram account is, in fact, not a joke, which means the ball is down in Musk's court. The story speaks for itself. Meta spokesman Iska Sarek told me, after this story was published, Musk responded with two words, Vegas Octagon. He then tweeted, I have this great move I call the walrus, where I just lie on top of my opponent and do nothing. So yeah, he's up for a cage match. And <clears throat> and uh, somebody said, uh, Elon, lol, I love you, Elon, but you better start training. Yeah, because Mark said, send me location. And uh, yeah, he so he's just... Um, a backstory here, um, since I re recently reported more details about Meta's forthcoming Twitter competitor, Musk has been taunting Zuckerberg on Twitter with zingers like, Zuck my, okay, this is childish and, you know, during an internal all hands meeting at Meta last week, Chief Product Officer Chris Cox, um, told employees the company thinks creators want a version of Twitter that is sanely run. Okay, so they're fighting it out. Now, apparently what I read um, is that, um, yeah, uh, let's see. In terms of tech billionaire CEO literally fighting, Musk versus Zuckerberg would be as good as it gets. Musk, 51, has the upper hand on Zuckerberg's in terms of sheer physical size. And he has talked about being uh, real hardcore street fights when he was growing up in South Africa. But Zuckerberg, 39, is an aspirational MMA fighter who is already winning uh, jiu-jitsu tournaments also claims to have recently completed the grueling Murph's challenge workout in just under 40 minutes okay so machismo a couple tech billionaires uh want to do a cage fight at the octagon meet me yeah uh, let's do it okay fucking time this is really happening guys this is any, anything to distract, you know, uh, a, a couple, yeah, they're just distract with the, this. And, you know, the internet's like, oh, yeah, fight, yeah, okay. So um, we're going to look at who would win. Uh, Elon, who's, you know, a uh, you know, bigger dude, um, you know, and or Mark Zuckerberg, who um, probably could afford some good jujitsu uh, uh Traders. Now, I did do a post in Community uh, recently. The 50th anniversary of Enter the Dragon has been released. You know, and I'm a big Bruce Lee fan. I've been following him, for, you know, uh, reading his work for years and and stuff like that. Um, let's uh, pull in Art of Work Hard, okay? Uh, so, so let's see. We're just let's actually let's pull two. We'll pull one for Elon and one for Mark. Yeah, let's let's just do that. So this will be for Elon Musk. Okay. Regard your soldiers as your children, and they will follow you into the deepest valleys. Yeah, all those fuckers on Twitter. Okay, yeah, they'll do anything and stuff. Treat others as you want them to be treated. Yeah, Elon Musk probably needs to, you know, be nice to people. Uh, the way you treat people will dictate how you are treated. Although some 
uh, will always buy me and others will be kind. If you treat people with patience, kindness, and understanding, you will live a happier life. If you are loyal and caring, your friends will be loyal and caring to you. Um, well, you know, Elon Musk, he's got that weird blue check mark thing, and you know, he's uh, you know, he, he, he needs to treat people better. I, you know, hit employees, uh, people on Twitter, and maybe Mark Zuckerberg because he might kick his ass. Okay, so let's look at the card for Mark. Yeah, if we start to find with Mark and you know all right so this is Mark Zuckerberg's art of work hard if you know the enemy and know yourself your victory will not stand in doubt if you know heaven and no earth you may make your victory complete uh-oh speaking in public well he said yeah yeah name the you know, say the location oh fuck done he wasn't afraid the prospect of speaking to public can be terrifying. Well, he's been in Congress, you know. However, great skill to develop. He he is kind of um, how do you pay? It? Hey, he's he's you know he's earned millions. Uh, Facebook is a smart thing he did. Uh, but you know I know when he's, he speaks in public, everybody gives him a lot of shit about it. Uh, but sometimes he has some good answers. You know, like somebody you know somebody in Congress was real you know dumb, and he 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 handled the question well. I will give him that. They were like. If Facebook is free for everybody, how how do you make money? And he's like, we run ads, sir. <laughs> the fucker didn't know how Mark makes his money. Yeah, a lot of fucking ads. Okay, and selling our info. Okay, but anyway. Uh, for Sun Tzu, the enemy of the public speaker could be a lack of point. Mumbling, reading speech, and making too much mistakes. Know yourself means your material. Uh, relax, be confident, dress right, sober up, practice, and be yourself. So, you know, yeah, he, he if you know the enemy and know yourself, I think he knows Elon Musk, uh, you know, he, uh, he's he got money. They both got money, uh, but Elon Musk is, uh, you know, he, he doesn't, uh, you know, he hasn't trained in martial arts. You know, I mean, you know, if Bruce Lee was alive, would he pick a fight with Bruce Lee and say, I'm going to lay on him? Oh, I bet Bruce Lee could get out from under him and whip his ass. Okay, you know, uh, so uh, that's the, you know, uh, yeah, Bruce Lee was not a very big person, but he could whip some ass. So, you know, size, you know, but, uh, you know, you're talking about training, uh, uh, somebody who's, who's trained in jujitsu and uh, this, you know, this laying on top of someone, uh, you know. I, I know we've had some street fights in South Africa. I, I, I did read about it. There was uh, that, you know, but this is trained uh, person. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to do a split um, uh, thing here. Uh, Elon, the odds he's got versus Mark, the odds he's got of winning the, the cage fight. Yes, two uh, tech billionaires uh, putting on a show. We're just going to take a moment and just, like I said, let's break... Uh, uh, break break from the seriousness just for a moment, um, you know, and we'll give this a, a little bit of attention, you know, while the world crumbles around us. No, I'm just kidding. Don't worry. The light wins in the end, guys. Okay. So is this a battle of good versus evil? Is this a battle of evil versus evil? Is this a battle of, oh my goodness, why am I reading this? Um, anyway, let's just do it for, for shits and giggles. Okay. You know, we got that, but, uh, you know, I think, you know, uh, yeah, he, he said, yeah, let's do it. Okay. And what is, you know, is, is Elon quick in his boots? No, he, he's, he's not, you know, uh, but will it happen? Will it really happen? Uh, we're just going to hypothetically say, uh, yeah, maybe it'll happen. And, uh, yeah, this will, you know, and, and did they stage this so they could sell tickets or, uh, gain new followers? You know, because uh, obviously uh, they're, you know, they're competitors, um, you know, for attention uh, so they can distract the masses. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And uh, let's see. All right. I, I just thought for fun, we'll just look at it for fun. You know, a couple of machismo guys. You know, women don't do well. I guess Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lorena Bob are, are going at it. If those two got in a fist fight, who would win? You know, I don't know. Those two chatterboxes. Okay. Now, I mean, they might. They might on the Congress floor because they're both, you know, they're a, a couple of bar hoes as far as I'm concerned, but that's okay. A couple of bar hoes that made it into Congress. Okay. 
All right, so let's see. Let's do, since he wants to lay on top of Mark Zuckerberg, let's make Elon on top and Mark on the bottom. How about that, guys? Okay, we're going to just pull five cards. One. Okay, this is Elon Musk. I'll talk about what they are. Oh, that was dumb, Elon. The two of swords, because I don't think you thought he'd say, yeah, let's do it. I, I think he was, oh, fuck, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is, oh, yeah, that one's sticking up. Let's grab that one. Oh, yeah, oh, God. How do, how do you get the devil and the sun in the same card? I don't know. We'll figure it out in a minute, guys. Give me a minute. Okay, here comes Mark. Oh, yeah, here he comes. Oh, he's got the Earlsboro. So I guess maybe that's for the, the reptile comments. Okay, yeah, there we go. No, oh, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, yeah, we're fucking done. Okay, oh, that's interesting. Okay, and let's put a card just in between... Um, the two of them as a just a, oh, fuck, lust, the lust for power, the lust for followers, the, lu oh, it's fucking drama. Okay, so they get the lust card between them both. They're, you know, both being, you know, really ridiculous, you know, but, you know, Mark's like, yeah, let's just get it done. Okay, so, okay. So you got the disappointment card for Elon Musk. I think he's just kind of disappointed. Some things aren't working out that great. Twitter, it's not going exactly as he expected. He'd come in. He comes walking in with the kitchen sink. I think he's losing people. He's losing uh, business because it's become a clown show. You know, the, the Twitter thing. And so he's doing this. It's just like somebody wants to up ratings, uh, gain followers. Uh, let's make it interesting. You know, he, he uses funny and Uber. He does his stupid stuff and sold people. People. he's he's you know he's he's being ridiculous and you know I, I think Mark is a wee bit more professional um, than Elon you know like Mark doesn't really act like a clown As a matter of fact where he kind of you know clowns around and, and is a goofball you know but he's smart I, I will say Elon Musk is smart you got to watch him he's the Fox Mark is a little more monotone he's very business 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 oriented um, he doesn't have a, a wild personality, but maybe behind the scenes he does. Uh, you know, he gets accused of being a reptile. We got the Earl's Burrows. Earl's Burrows is, is a good thing, you know, the snake eating his tail, but it's just kind of funny. It's there. Okay, so Elon Musk, he's the two of swords. Uh, peace, ha <laughs> that's funny. He really should aim for peace and probably back out of this fight, but he, he kind of, you know, to, uh, you know, he kind of threw this out there and then this guy goes, yeah, let's do it. And he's like, uh, should I do it? And he's like, okay, I'll just fucking do it. Okay. So he made his choice. Uh, you know, he's, he's doing obviously, you know, money wise, he's, he's still doing well for himself. It's not like the guy's going to go broke anytime soon. He's, you know, he's a pioneer when it comes to certain things. Elon Musk, he's, you know, ready to get down to business, get to work and things. But, and Twitter is just, <coughs> oh, let's buy a really big thing, spend $50 billion, and it's his new toy and stuff. And it's it's not, I, I, he's losing you know, some things on there, but he's he's looking hopeful at the future. And this is where he's hoping to get a little Twitter activity. Yeah, he's willing to get in the ring with somebody that's, that could kick his ass. Why not? Uh, you know, we got that double card. It's a lot of ego and stuff. But, you know, the Capricorn, he's willing, uh, I, I'm going to get up to the mountain and I'm going to fucking do it. I'm willing to do anything to save Twitter, even fucking get my ass kicked. Okay. He's, you know, that's kind of devilish. But the sun, <laughs> how do I interpret this? It can be about child, um, childhood, innocence, uh, maybe kind of thinking about, you know, back when he was a child. He was kind of innocent. He, he was getting kicked around. He, there, there's truth in that story. And he's, but I would say he's being a little child. He, he's like a child. He's like a big kid that has a toy on Twitter. And he's willing to be a big kid. I've had my ass kicked before. Let's just do it again. Fuck it. Okay. He's, he's, he's kind of a, he's, he's got a big inner child that he likes to just say, fuck it. Let's have fun. Okay. So for Mark Zuckerberg, change. 
Uh, yeah, he's probably looking at, yeah, Facebook probably could use a little boost. You know, it's still pretty dominant. They both want to dominate everything. It, it's, you know, be the head honcho of the internet and everything. Uh, he's like, yeah, you know, this this will change maybe some things there. Uh, but, you know, work, you know, he's more, he's work-oriented, um, you know, and everything. He takes things a little seriously. He likes Facebook the way it is. He's trying to do some things different. Now, actually, in his case, doing things older ways that people are used to Facebook, this whole meta thing, people didn't really grew with it. You know, a lot of people on Facebook, I like it the old way. Like when they made it a new style, I like it the old way. If, if he would stick with things and just let things go an old way and stop trying to make things, I don't do it and fresh, but don't fuck with something that's working. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Facebook would be good as long, you know, this whole meta thing, just, just stop. You know, this virtual reality, nobody wants to do it. Okay, this is the thing. He's fucking fast. He's a fat, you know, he's, he's got it, you know, Knight of Swords energy here. He's going to be able to hit him, hit him fast, hit him hard. Knight of Swords, he's just going to, he ain't going to run from him. He's just going to rush in and do it. But we got the failure card. It, it, you know, um, could this thing actually, you know, people look at this. Oh, God, he's, there are some things there. The failure, people have been walking away from Facebook. You know, did these guys, you know, say something quietly and then they did a staging so they could both get followers because he's losing people. Uh, people are starting to walk away from social media, Facebook. It's it's not in style um, as much, but then there's there's still a lot of people on it. But the truce card, um, these guys don't like each other. That's real. Will they make a truce after the fight and stuff? So um, looking at this. Yeah, Elon, he's, he, he knows how to be an inner child. He's not a stupid person. Uh, it's a business move. You know, he's going to be disappointed, uh, you know, that, that Mars is Scorpio, that little vengeance thing. You know, I'm going to, you know, he's, he's you know, um, I, I don't see a horrible uh, beat down necessarily. He's used to getting his ass kicked. He's had his ass kicked all his life. So he, he doesn't care. He's going to come out, ah, he's fucking not being childish. It's fine. When he gains Twitter, he's willing to get his ass kicked to get some Twitter followers. He don't care. As if Mark's faster than him, uh, he's been losing people. He's worried about losing money. Oh, God, I could lose, you know, $5 million. Oh, shit, you know. He, he wants, he, he likes the money. And so they'll, they'll truce after it all. But, you know, th this is all the lust. They both... They, they want to be the head honcho. They, this is a lot of ego. Yeah. E Elon, who has the bigger ego? Probably Elon. You know, he's kind of a big fat kid and, uh, you know, and everything. But, you know, no matter what, they're going to have abundance. They, they like being rich, of course. And uh, they're both being foolish. Uh, they're both being foolish at this point. My buddy's on Mark. He's got the speed. Uh, you know, he's been, you know, he's got the Dow symbol. Okay, the Dow symbols, um, seriously, though, with the, the change cards. Oh, yeah, he's got that balance, you know, uh, working with the uh, jujitsu. And uh, Elon Musk, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's being a clown. <laughs> he's, he's, he's being a clown. He's being a big kid and stuff. And this is just, you know, he just having a good ass time, you know, and, and I know he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to climb up the mountain. It's, it's, it's all for, um, you know, uh, you know, to, to be popular and who can get the most followers and maybe he's hoping, oh, you know, it, it, you know, that, that from this whole thing, he'll, he'll gain and Mark will gain and it'll just be, oh my God, a bunch of people watching the fight. Uh, I'm probably not going to watch the fight. I, I just saw it. Mark's going to win if, if they fight, I, I don't, and they, they, they could possibly do it. Uh, because it's gone this far. He said, yep, yeah, let's do it. Name location. Let's let's get it done and stuff. Um, let's roll some dice for fun. But Elon doesn't care if he loses. He gets beat up. You know, I, I don't think he cares because, you know, everybody's going to be like, Ooh, you know, and stuff. You know, it's not like he's going to lose money uh, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I could uh, either in Cancer or Leo, they could show down. I've got Cancer. This is when they're starting it. And uh, Leo energy and stuff. The number two. Yeah, that's just a couple of dum-dums. Okay. Uh, they're about to go go head-to-head -head in a fight. But they're not totally stupid uh, because, you know, they became what they are. Um, they, they both managed to be successful. And they know one of the things... Um, is that, you know, they're smart enough to know that the internet really would sit there and chew the popcorn and, and, and watch a fucking cage fight. 
of those two guys. And they're just going to laugh all the way to the bank, you know, whether they're beat up or not. But my money's on Zuckerberg. He's got the Dow symbol. He's got the speed. Um, Elon's not going to know what hit him, but he's not going to care because, you know, he's going to get other followers and, and stuff like that. He's probably just going to have a big fucking laugh. He doesn't care. He's been beat up before, you know, and stuff like that. So um, it, it's all good. I guess we can pull some Oracle cards. It's just going to be a short read. Uh, it's going to be a short fucking fight, too. Uh, how about the wisdom oracle? Because, you know, there's one thing about being smart, intelligent, um, do things, and then there's wisdom, okay? You know, and, and Elon's a big kid, and stuff, no matter what. Yeah, you're blessed with a lot of money, guys. Uh, yeah, you know, and, uh, oh, a change in the wind. <laughs> oh, fuck, done. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a change in the wind, Elon going down. And stuff, all that is, glitters is not gold. My friends, uh, I know uh, money can't buy you the enlightenment. You can't become a Buddha, no matter, and you can't pay for it. Uh, but they're, they think about stuff, you know, they're intelligent. Yep, they're thinkers, and they thought their way all to success. But who has the leg up? Mark Zuckerberg. He's had training. Yeah, he's had fucking training. He's got a leg up in the game. Okay, you know, and, uh, you know, he, you know, you know, if it was Trump, he, you know, he, he, he'd lose and, and he would clearly get his ass knocked out by Mark Zuckerberg and he'd be like, you know, he would claim that Mark cheated. No, he was just trained and Trump's out of shape. But to the sea, oh God, yes. I think we all need to just send them to the sea, you know, and everything and just, you know, watch you go duke it out there. That to be fair, is it a fair fight? Well, Elon opened his mouth and the guy has training and I think he thought he'd just ignore him and maybe and, and, and he said nope let's do it fuck it and because you know he's kind of an uptight you know Mark seems kind of uptight and he's like oh fuck it let's just do it let's throw down and so by the book yeah yeah they, they can't do anything like kick each other in the groin let's hope Elon doesn't do a low blow because street fighting they do that fucking shit yeah message in a bottle ah, message on Twitter oh is he regretting that message now and so because it might hurt these guys are going to go round and round yeah you know so it's probably time maybe they do need to duke it out and stuff but you know and it's it's time for a nap elon take a rest and everything and and mark mark sketch he's got more gang energy because he knows how the the dow and just because he's littler doesn't mean you know you better look at bruce lee he wasn't very big but he was a rock and uh he was fast and speed is is one of the things i mean bruce lee hit faster than anyone okay he was so fast they had to like slow down things because you couldn't see him hit. They had to slow down movies. Okay, and it's like oh he hits too fast. Slow, you know, just uh, so people could see because he was a blur. Okay, so Mark's uh, got the gang energy. He's gonna win um, if they do do the fight. Uh, I I think that they they might just fucking uh, do it because now we've got a duel and everybody. And if Elon backs out and says ah, I was just fucking kidding, Mark's to me like you're a fucking pussy, and it's on. Okay, so now Elon, uh, you, you put your money where your mouth is. Now he's got to fucking fight. And so I, I, I feel that they're probably crazy enough to fucking do it. And uh, but Mark definitely is gonna win. Yeah, you know and stuff. And I know people call him a reptile at eight because of that it's because he's had training. And Elon, <laughs> he had Street Fighter training, but that was a long fucking time ago when he was a kid and stuff. He's just a big kid. He's uh, an intelligent big kid. So. Don't underestimate his, that big brain um, of Elon, but he, he's uh, he's he's being he's being a big kid, and he's he's gonna get his ass kicked by a, a smaller but well-trained kid. Have a good one, folks.